Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to my channel once again. It's great to be back and start doing reviews again now that I'm all moved into the new house and we got pretty much everything set up. So I got sent this FL Sun, this is the Super Racer. And if you've seen in one of my previous videos, I did one of their older models and they sent me this one to test out and try out. So that's what we're gonna do today. So let's get this unboxed, let's take a look and let's see how this thing works. So from the looks at it, this looks like it's really well packaged. Everything's in its place like it's supposed to be. All the tools and everything to put it together. Power cords and everything. Nice manual that's not just a piece of paper. That's nice. So I'll get all these put out on the table and then we can see what we're looking with. Okay, so here are all the pieces that it comes with. As you can see, you got the manual, you have all the rails, and as you can see, they are labeled X, Y, and Z. So you know which ones go with which. It has all the tools, platform, the top, filament to test it out, power cords, comes with everything you need, very well packaged nicely done. So let's go ahead and get this put together. I'm not going to bore you through that whole process because I'm just going to read off the manual and do what it says, but we'll throw a little quick time lapse in there so you guys can check it out. Okay guys, so I got this all set up. This is complete. Let's see how this works. So here's the filament that it comes with. Now, maybe it's just me, but does this look kind of all mangled or something? I'm not really sure why it, it looks like that, but we're gonna try it anyways, because that's what it came with. One thing I would like to point out is they have a nice little drawer built in so all the spare pieces I could put right inside. That way I don't lose them, misplace them, they disappear, and I never find them again. So that's, that's a nice little, little feature to have built into a machine. I really like that. Okay, everyone, so I got this all powered on. We're good to go. So I already got the filament loaded. Up in the top comes down runs in which is very easy to do just a few buttons on the screen load it in and you're good so in order to get this leveled you just take the switch right here and it's magnetic so it clips right on we'll plug it in to there. So then we'll go into tools. We'll go to auto level and we'll go auto level. Make sure it's plugged in. Hit yes. And now we'll let it do its thing. So 
So now we'll go to move Z zero. And that will move it down and then we'll adjust the Z with a folded piece of paper just to where it slightly touches it. So as you can see, there's a little bit of room right here. So if we go into adjust Z, we can move it up or down. So if we come down, So now I can't move it, so we'll go up just a little bit, back down, it's stuck again. So just slightly to where it scrapes on it. That's what we want. So we'll click save. Now we should be all set and leveled. So we'll start a test print now. I'll use what came on the SD card. So first we'll wanna preheat it. So we'll go to PLA and that has it set to 220 degrees Celsius and 60 degrees Celsius for the heat bed. So we'll let that warm up. And as you can see, the temperatures will change. And this shouldn't take too long to heat up, I don't think. We'll give it just a minute. Okay, so that is up to temperature. So now we'll go into print. Go in a folder and let's just print the cube and we'll see how this one turns out. And we'll hit print. So I'll let this run. I'm not sure how long it's going to take. I just used whatever settings that they had. So we'll do this one first and then I'll set up another print myself in Cura and test it like that and kind of see what the capabilities are and see how fast we can get this to print. Okay, so this is saying that it is complete and it took 23 minutes. So I'm just gonna power this off. And we'll let that cool down for a second before we take it off. All right, so now that this is cooled down, this should be pretty easy to remove. There we go. So this was the little cube that they had, the test bottle. So looks like it printed just fine. It's smooth. There's not any, any problems with it. So I'm going to go jump on over into Kira right now, and we'll go find something else to print just so we can test this a little bit more and we'll up the speed a little bit and, and see what happens. Okay guys. So here I am over in Kira and I chose to do this Bender model instead of just their regular test model. So I want to try something different out. So all I really changed in these settings was the print speed, the support to a tree, and I just put it as a skirt. I don't need a brim or a raft or anything like that. I'm not too worried about it. The infill density I just set to 20% and we'll just leave this as a grid. So it says it'll take five hours and 13 minutes. So Let's go plug this little SD card in and let's get it started. Okay, so here we are, we'll, we're back. So we have this all preheated already. So let's go into print and we'll click the bender can bottom and print. And we'll see how well this handles it with the support. So we'll let this do its thing. It says it's going to take five hours, so I'll come back after this is all done. I'm not going to sit here and have five-hour footage of video, so let's just see what happens. As you can see, though, this is printing super fast. I mean, 150 millimeters per second. That's doing a lot, which I really like. That should really speed up some of these printing times, so I really do like that.
All right, so this has finished printing and it took five hours and nine minutes. We'll click OK. Let that all cool down, which it looks like it already is because it's been a bit. But we'll take this off and then uh, power this down. Take a look at it. So that removed easily from the build plate. Take off the supports. All right, so there we have it. Nice little cup. I will have to uh, print the top off that has the top of it so you can put a little straw in there. So I will do that next, but overall that came out looking really good. I'm quite happy with that. I did print out the top of Bender's head. So now you can put a little can in there, screw it back on, put a straw in. There we go, you can sip out it. I think the detail came out really good. I was really happy with the quality of the print that this machine produces. You can see in the first test cube that I printed, that came out looking pretty good. I don't see any flaws in it. It's smooth, it's flat, it's not rough or anything like that. So overall, I think that's a great machine. Well, I'll take a minute right now just to kind of go over some of the things that I do like about this machine, and let's jump right into that. So a few things that I like about it, I do like the magnetic holder and the touch screen. It's easy to use, nothing wrong with that at all. This was very easy to put together. I like how there's storage for the extra parts so you're not having them laying all over the place like all the rest of my machines. It was basically just screw on the rails and clip on the wires and that was about it. Pretty simple. The filament holder is nice, does the job. It is high, as you can see, it almost hits my light, but it's on a table. To level it was easy because it comes with this magnetic clamp right there and you just pop it right on. I do like the larger build volume, which is 260 by 330. Compared to my other one, I think it was 220 maybe or 210 by, I don't know, 250. If I remember correctly, I'd have to take a look at it, but this is a much bigger machine. So it does come with the automatic runout sensor right here built into it. So if a filament runs out, you can stop it, start it again. That's very easy to use, which I really like about that. And a lot of the newer machines, they all pretty much have it, but it, it's definitely a nice feature to have. I don't find the wires in the way at all. I think the one is tucked into the side. So that's out of the way, which is, which is really nice. I like that it powers on really fast and all the controls to use this are really simple. It's just a quick push of a button. If you wanna move it, heat it, extrude it, whatever you wanna do, there's really not that difficult to figure out. So compared to some of the other ones that are smaller, maybe a smaller screen, this one is bigger. And one of the best features I like the most is probably the, the print speed. And this was printing at 150 millimeters per second. It says that the max is 200, which was extremely fast. Normally to print something this big would have taken me about eight or nine hours, but this only took me five, just over five hours. So that's not bad at all. So overall, what do I think? Definitely two thumbs up on this machine. This is the, again, this is the FL Sun, the Super Racer. I highly recommend it. If you're looking for a good 3D printer, pick one of these up. It's, it's a beast. It does really well. It's quiet and it, you'll be very happy with it. So here you can see a side-by-side -side comparison on the two different sizes on how much bigger this one actually is 
than the other one, their previous model. That makes a big difference. The one other thing I like before I let you guys go is the manual. It's very easy to follow the instructions on how to put it together and how to do everything. It even gives you the, the specs on what you should set it at in Cura, if you're using Cura. You can tweak them on your own, but that's kind of what they just recommend. And as you can see, it worked out perfectly. Well, that's all for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button down below. Ring the bell. Get notified of all the new videos that come out each week. And as always, thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.